And so we're looking at the UKIT robotics build. Uh, you're going to be building two separate robots. First thing you want to make sure you've done is download UCode from self-service. Um, and that's going to pop up up here. You can see I'm on version 4.2-27. Uh, you want to make sure you're on 2-8. Okay, we'll see if this works for me here in a second. Um, that should be the new version on self-service. You're going to click on access UCode online. Uh, if you're having any trouble with this, just try and restart your computer. You can also talk to our tech office uh, across the way. Um, so you're going to be building two separate robots. So this here is U-Code. Um, first off here, when it pops up, you're going to get an opportunity to choose which robot you want to build. Okay, you can see here there's 38 different models. Uh, one of your robots that you need to build needs to have wheels, so it needs to move um, on a plane of some sort. You can see there's a bunch of different examples here. Um, I'm going to look at one that I already have built right now. And I have, I've done the robotic hand here. And I'm going to click, where is, not the hand, sorry, I'm looking for the arm. Yeah, robotic arms. Okay. Uh, you can read through this here, but I'm going to click on start building. Uh, so once you click on start building here, it's going to go through the tutorial on how to actually build the entire robot. Try and stay with it. Um, you can change things as you go uh, but, or as you finish, but try and stay with it for the most part and making sure everything gets plugged in and that you're using the right servos. You have a ton of servos. If you don't use the right servos, you're going to have to go in the program and change those as you go. But you can see that it goes through everything you do have to do to build this up here. Okay, I want to mention the servos here. You can see if I move around here, this is servo number five. Okay, you got to make sure you use the right servos. And then we scroll all the way through and it plugs it in. This is what you're going to end up with when you're done. Then click on start coding. Okay, once you click on start coding here, um, you can obviously run through this and try and figure it out yourself. Um, but for starters here, go to resource center and again go to sample code. And you will see on here that if I scroll through here, I can find the different builds. And this is going to give us a sample code uh, that we can start with here. So I want to find the robotic arm again. And there's my robotic arm. And you can see this is just a bunch of uh, moving the servos, okay? Moving the servos and spinning them around as you go. Um, and then simply up here, I'm going to click on connect. And we'll see if this works. I'm on the old version of U-Code right now, so it looks like I do need to download the new version. So sorry about this here in this video. You can fast forward through this as I go through it, but I'm not going to talk much as I download this. Make sure it gets installed. It is a big piece of software. All right, now that's mine's done here. I'm going to quit out of the old version here. And then I'm going to install uh, this new version. And replace it. And this should be already done for you in self-service if you've installed it correctly. So let's open U-Code up, and we'll see if this works out. And wait for it to pop up up here. And there we go. Okay, now, sorry about that. Click connect here. And you're going to be looking for explore dev uh, with a 110 on it. And click connect. Uh, I have had the Bluetooth work. If you want to hook up the Bluetooth module and try it out, you're welcome to. Uh, but this is the easiest way to connect it. 
Um, sometimes this is going to pop up up here because they have been plugged into an Arduino platform before. So we want to update the firmware. We click and upgrade this. This has had issues. If this is having an issue on your computer for some reason, um, please talk to a teacher. A teacher can update the firmware just following these same exact steps uh, on their teacher computer. But you can see mine's updating and it should go through that entire process. And hopefully our tech department has this figured out so that you don't have to talk to a teacher. And then click got it. Okay, and then once here, um, let's see it still says disconnected. We'll see if it says connected here in a second. And connected. Okay, once this is done here, um, click on the little green arrow. And my robot is moving all around right now. So <laughs> it is doing its thing. And then I'll click on stop to stop that program. Um, but this is where you want to change the code. So update your code, uh, edit things, uh, see what else you can do um, within this platform here. Um, and then uh, that's the end of the video. Follow along with the directions here. And there's a slideshow right here that you're going to need access to to submit. And each student will need to submit that. All right. Thanks, everyone.